Today we're going to talk about the graphic design principle of repetition. 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 Stop that. When people think about repetition, they usually think of patterns like this beautiful piece of fabric, my shirt, the paper on this book. These are all decorative patterns. They do use repetition, but they're not graphic design because we just learned that graphic design has to communicate. The patterns are beautiful, but there's really no communication there. So in graphic design classes, repetition is not about patterns. So what is the principle of repetition? It's when you repeat things throughout the design. A simple example is to think about using a font in different sizes or using a color in the font and in another line or element in the design. A great way to repeat things is to select a color that's already in a picture in the design and use it on a background, a border, or a font. Let's look at some examples. Here's a bottle of olive oil. It's fairly simple, but if we look closely, we'll see there are a number of ways repetition has been used here. This large font for the name is the same as the font for all the small words. This block of text here is the same size as the block of text on the other side. And the light purple color in these small words is the same as the light purple color in this part of the picture. And the light orange of these words up here is the same as the light orange in this part of the picture. Now let's look at a slightly more complicated example. Here's a sign from Dunkin' Donuts. It uses repetition in many ways. I'll point out a few of them. Well, let's look at some big things. Like this pink color in the background is repeated in that icon on the other side. And the orange color behind it is repeated in an icon on this side. And pink and orange are great choices for this design because they repeat the colors of the Dunkin' Donuts logo. Now take a look at these shapes. They all have the same rounded corners. If you look closely at these letters, they have rounded ends, just like these large shapes. And the letters in the Dunkin' Donuts logo have those rounded ends too. So you can see there's a lot of repetition here. So when you use the principle of repetition, your designs will be better because all of the parts in your designs will feel like they belong together. 